Question 31 says if velocity of an object, so V is given as 2 J cap meter per second and the acceleration is given as I cap minus J cap meter per second square. Then the velocity of the particle at the end of the 2 second is something that you have to calculate. Just when the velocity final can be written as the initial velocity plus AT, V is equal to U plus AT. So this will be equal to 2 J cap plus I cap minus J cap into 2 and this will be equal to 2 i cap meter per second meaning that for this question the correct answer is option number 2 now let us move to the question number 32 in this question find the speed of a pebble when it is at half of the distance of its journey from top to bottom when it is thrown horizontally from top of a tower of height 20 meters with initial velocity 10 meter per second square the students herein a pebble is thrown with a speed of 10 meter per second horizontally and we have to find out the velocity or the speed when it has traveled half of the distance from journey to from top to bottom. Now the particle will follow a trajectory as shown. Its horizontal velocity will be always 10 meter per second. Let it travel a distance of 10 meters that is the half of the distance and this be the vertical velocity. V by can be written as under root of 2g into y that is y is the displacement that will be 2g into 10 and this will be equal to under root 200. So the net speed will be equal to under root of vx square plus vy square that will be under root of 10 square plus root 200 square giving us a value of 10 root 3 meter per second and as per the given option the correct answer being option number 2. Now let us solve the question number 33. In this question a stone after projection at an angle of theta with the respect to the ground from roof of a tower was again at the level of projection 2 seconds after the projection and it falls on ground 3 seconds after the projection. Then the height of the tower is. The student let the height of the tower be h. It is given that let the projectile be thrown at an angle of theta with a speed u. It moves with the trajectory as shown. It comes to the point of projection at time t is equal to 2 seconds and 3 seconds after the projection that is at t is equal to 3 the particle reaches the ground. Then you have to find out the height of the tower. Now dear student the time of the flight here is given as 2 seconds that is from the level of projection to the level of projection. This t that is 2 can be written as 2 u sin theta by g. From this equation we can write down that u sin theta turns out to be equal to 10. Now this one for the whole equation of motion we can write down that h is equal to ut plus half at square in the vertical direction. Now we are taking the downward direction as positive and upward direction as negative so we can write down that h will be equal to 10 into 3 with the negative sign as 10 is upwards plus half into 10 into 3 square as 10 which is g acceleration due to gravity is downwards. This will be equal to 15 meters and hence for this question we can clearly see that the correct answer should be equal to option number 4. Now let us solve the question number 34. In this question 3 balls x, y and z are projected from the ground from same machine with same initial speed at an angle. Three angles are given 30, 45 and 60. Then which of the following statement is correct? We have to compare the ranges. The students the range for a projectile is given as u square sin 2 theta by g and range is maximum if theta is equal to 45 degrees. We can clearly see here therefore a y will have maximum range also when the angles of projections are complementary that is they add up to 90 degree then the ranges are equal that means x has a range which is equal to the range of z because 30 plus 60 is 90 degree. Hence we can write down that rx will be equal to rz and ry will be greater than both of them. And hence for this question the correct answer is clearly option number 2. Now let us move to the question number 35. In question 35 a snail starts its motion from origin at t is equal to 0 and moves with constant acceleration in y direction in xy plane. The equation of motion is given that y is equal to bx square 
then the x component of the velocity is dear student dy by dt is the y component of the velocity and this will be equal to 2b into x into dx by dt using the chain rule of differentiation the double differentiation d2y by d t square will be equal to 2b into dx by dt whole square plus 2bx d2x by dt square this will be equal to 0 as the constant acceleration is only in the y direction so the acceleration in x direction will be 0 and d2y by dt square is given to be equal to a that is the acceleration in y direction so this will be equal to 2b into vx square as dx by dt is vx so from this we can write down that vx will be equal to under root of a by 2b and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4 now let us solve the question number 36